Lots of pull and snorkel and kick and bam. Just loaded with the tips here today. If you go there right now, like it's, it's ugly. Morning, Traniacs. Yesterday was the first road ride outside and uh, that was my happy place. That was out with Coach Pat, which means that obviously Coach Pat is back. He wasn't in bad shape yesterday, so. Ooh, so many options. Frightened to see what the swim is gonna be like today. Pre, pull, snorkel. Warm up. Pull, bend. There's pull, pull, snorkel, kick, and bend. Lots of pull and snorkel and kick and bend. A tasty little 3,900 meter set. Let's talk about this right here. I've never talked about it. We're gonna talk about it. All right, this is Taryn Gazelle coming to you live from my cycling clothes. So I've mentioned this a lot of times, but I don't think I've actually talked about how exactly you use it. The purpose of this is, I would say, two main things. Number one, it's a snorkel. It's a swimmer snorkel meant for freestyle. Go like this. And you don't have to turn your head. It's not as easy as it looks because you actually get a little bit of carbon dioxide, monoxide, dioxide, whatever you breathe out. You get a little bit in here and then when you suck it in, you're not getting full pure air. So it's actually a little bit tougher than you'd expect the first few times that you use it. Uh, small tip, you're gonna get water up your nose, breathe out like <clears throat> either halfway down the pool or at every turn. Just loaded with tips here today. First way, that this really helps you out is it calms your head down because if you're getting into triathlon and you don't have a swimming background, you're going to want to lift your head to breathe. It's natural to want to lift your entire upper body to get your head out of the water and get a nice big gulp of oxygen. But what happens is when you lift your head really hard, you're actually gonna make your legs sink, you're gonna drag more, you're gonna go slower, you're gonna sink. So having this allows you to not have to lift your head at all and it gets you in the habit of keeping your head steady. The next thing that it helps you do is it takes away some of the movement that you have to do. If you don't have to worry about moving side to side nearly as much at the same time as lifting your head at the same time as kicking at the same time as turning your arms over, you can focus on fewer things. And the number one thing that you're able to focus on a lot better is catch at the front of your stroke. And those two things, having a head that doesn't lift out of the water and just sits in place and moves to the side as you're breathing, that allows you to have a nice streamlined torpedo-like frontal plane. Feels like it'd be the right thing to say. In the water, reducing drag and allows you to just just focus on having your chest go side to side if you're not lifting your head. So it gives you a little bit better body roll, just body positioning in general. But as far as that head lift goes, it's not foolproof because when you do take the snorkel off and you go back to having to breathe on your side, you still are gonna have a fair bit of head movement. What you wanna do is kind of ingrain in your mind how steady your head is when you've got this and then translate that to your normal stroke and just think about calming the movement of your head from side to side and up and down and all around. And you just wanna to move to the side and grab a little pocket of air, easy as that. The next thing is the stroke. To do that, I'm going to enlist in the help of the trusty hammer. Get the snorkel on. It allows you to, like I said, focus a lot on the front part of your stroke. So when you get the snorkel on, it allows you to focus on the front part of your stroke. And that's the most important part of your stroke. The kick is maybe at best, like we're talking eight to 12% of the overall high that goes into moving yourself forward. The stroke is a much bigger part of it. And what you want is you want to catch as much of the water at the front of the stroke and have it feel almost like you're grabbing something that's solid. That's why we use this. And how you want to think about it is you want to get a feeling at the front of the stroke like you're grabbing water and using it to move yourself forward. Picture this in your mind as you've got the snorkel on and you're pushing yourself, whoa, slippery, and you're pushing yourself forward. Keep your shoulder steady because if you lift it up, 
to get that propulsion, you're gonna develop shoulder problems, but have this in mind and you're gonna be a better swimmer. Grab one of these, they're like 15 bucks. Be happy you did. Pair this with a pole boy and a band. You're gonna take everything out of the overall stroke besides just body roll and your arm turnover. Go work, off to the office. So I mentioned about four or five days ago that we're doing a little bit of planning to make triathlonterran.com a little bit fancier. If you go there right now, like it's, it's ugly. There, there ain't much to it, but we wanna put a lot more of the content that it doesn't belong in the vlog, but it would make for a really good written article with supporting pictures and maybe a video that goes alongside of it. Oh, like the, the core routine, yeah, that we put up yesterday. If we were just to do a core routine in the vlog, take up the entire vlog, but I can create an article in the website with a video that's just dedicated to how to do that core routine. So that said, we're doing some figuring about what content to put there. Why don't we crowdsource that today? Ask me basically any question that you want in the comments below at very least. In the next couple days, I'll do a Q&A, answer as many questions as I can live here. And then if it's something that I'm like, ooh, you know what, that would make a really good blog post. Oh, you're still rotating. I'm gonna stop that. And if it makes a good blog post, we'll create a blog post over it. And there's gonna be like a whole redesign out of that. Ask your questions down below. Really? Yeah. What are you doing? What are you filming? What are you, what are you cameraing? <laughs> I'm filming this. Okay. Thank you. Okay, bye. Bye. I like that thumbnail. Yeah. <laughs> it's very. The least awkward looking face made out of all 90 photos. 90 photos, and that's the least awkward? Looks uncomfortable as possibly a face. In 89 of 90 photos. Yeah. This is Mel's life. And before we call this day a wrap, there's a special something that I want to show you. Ladies and gentlemen, this here is the Red River. This right there is about the halfway point, which is called the Forks in Winnipeg. And that is, uh, yeah, gonna be like six hours through the 10 hour 39K marathon swim that Coach Pat and Jacques and I are doing in a few months. It is crazy high right now. Apparently the crest was this past week, which is a month earlier than normal. And we're in a bit of a race because every week that we wait, the water level goes down, the current becomes slower, but we get to train more. So it's a bit of a balance of, do we wait so we're better trained or do we do it sooner because the current's gonna push us more. We haven't really decided. All right, I'm out. End of the day, see you Trainiacs.